It is difficult to say where Wilder Penfield first became interested in studying the human brain. Perhaps it was when he was at Oxford. His first friend there was William Osler, one third of whose writings dealt with neuropathology. Whatever his motives for embarking on a journey into one of medicine's great frontiers, Penfield approached it with his usual brilliance. He was already a skilled brain surgeon before the great Canadian neurosurgeon Edward Archibald convinced him that his skills were needed at the Royal Victoria Hospital in Montreal. Penfield came north at the age of 37, bringing along his talented colleague William Cohn. Within four years, they had established the Montreal Neurological Institute. Penfield's fascination with the brain led to research work on tumors, brain scars, and the various forms of epilepsy, and he was much in demand as a surgeon. His successes were many, but one operation remained in his mind the rest of his life. No one else had the skills to operate on the brain tumor of his beloved sister, Ruth, so he performed the operation himself, only to find an unremovable malignancy. Though her life was short, Penfield did save her sight. While he was developing a surgical approach to the treatment of epilepsy, Penfield began to map the brain and determine which functions of the body were controlled by which brain segment. Among his many discoveries was that he could summon a patient's past experiences by mildly shocking the temporal lobes and stimulating memory. This is the brain. Now, when we stimulated at three, you had a tingling in your thumb. You've probably forgotten now. Not very clear. Then underneath this, we stimulated, and to my astonishment, you said, I hear music. Then I repeated it no. without warning you a little while later. You said, I hear that music again. Tell us what you heard. Well, I heard what sounded like an orchestra playing, and I asked the nurse where it was coming from, and she asked me the name of it. But I, I said, I know the song, but I can't think of the name of it. And then I stimulated it again, you remember, and asked you about it, and you hummed it. Will you hum it now, you remember? Yes. Go ahead. Da, 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 Yes, and then when you got to that point, Miss, the nurse, Claimed, I know what it is. It's rolling along together. And you said what? And I said, yes, that's what it is. <laughs> his legacy to those who followed and his lifetime of surgical experience and research marked Wilder Penfield as one of the giants of neuropathology and neurosurgery. <laughs>